Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today's guest, Ivan Hau. Uh, Ivan, today your first victory yeah. of the tournament. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us in short uh, uh, about, today's? About, the, about today's game? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, today, okay, my opponent again plays some, not a rare line, but not that common with this knight f6, pawn tech f6. Okay, it's normal, but then queen d5, something to avoid my bishop d3 plans, something is. Uh, unusual and then I thought I played okay. At the very beginning I just got a very promising position on this d5 pawn but somehow I let him to play something like bishop c2 rook e8 somehow he he managed to create some counterplay because of my inaccurate moves. Okay but then at 30 moves of course he shouldn't sacrifice this bishop. Did he sacrifice it? Uh, I think From my sacrificed. point of view it was sort of a Bizarre blunder. No, at the first I was shocked because I thought he was looking for some perpetual, but then I realized there's nothing, so maybe it's a KF8 is also hopeless, I guess, because of course he was his queen six check for sure. Uh, yeah, that's just, <laughs> that's why I was, uh, I mean, probably he's I couldn't unpleasant. understand this move, yeah, but. Probably he's just unpleasant for his position. Mm hmm. And because all the game wide is just giving pressure, whatever. At some point, I was uh, giving him something back, but still, um, it's it's controlling whites. Okay, it uh, brings a score on four points out of eleven. Are you satisfied with that? Well, <laughs> <laughs> not really. Mm. Especially, well, uh, after a very horrible losing before the rest day with Luke, that was just. Uh, I was just shocked by my playing. Okay, besides that, for my re for rest okay, of Okay, but he was very well prepared for the line, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, I mean, with preparation, you can still play, not not like blunder, like <laughs> rook b8, you know? <laughs> Somehow I just simply mi forgot this queen c4 check. Okay, besides this game, I thought my rest games are more or less okay. I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with the quality of, although I'm not satisfied with my resorts, with my points, because I could, I could get at least uh, one more, yeah. Okay. Okay, then the, the rating thing, you're about, probably, uh, to overtake Judith Polka for the first time on the uh, feeder rating list. Really? No, I don't think so, because yesterday I still lose like... No, no, I mean not maybe today or tomorrow, oh, but yes. in the foreseeable future. How important is that to you? Mm. Well, uh, is it I important? Will be, uh, not that, although I will be happy if I can... Uh, overtake her, although it's not a sign because now she's not in her. She's already retired, although before she's not, not in, in her prime her, anymore. No. Yeah, not in her best, uh, best performance. And uh, if I can overtake like uh, her best score, probably it's more. It it make more sense, but still, you know, in twenty years ago, the rating is not as same as today because the average rating is getting much higher. So, I don't set any exact goals for me to um so actually what i understand is when you overtake her now mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that much when you overtake her best performance if ever that would mean something but still it's yeah, still unclear not too much things not yeah. too much things. because I, I was hoping to over just uh, like to overtake myself step by step just to, if your performance better than yesterday and then you will have hopes for tomorrow so it's okay mm -hmm. How is it to be a world champion? Are you constantly on the road? Are you ever spend time at home? Or is there lots of lots of tournaments that you play all over the world? Uh, sorry, I didn't get the point. Uh, how <laughs> how I'm is sorry. life as the world champion <laughs> ah, okay. in chess? Um, uh, yeah. Are you much more busy than you used to be? From one point, yes, because after I won, especially for my first time when I was 16 years old, suddenly there was even more okay interviews and there are more activities, so whatever is for sure, social for promoting chess. And suddenly your time cannot only control by yourself because, but on another side, it's also a good thing because you can promote chess besides your playing time. Mm. I think it's kind of duty for a professional chess player because chess can be even more and more popular. Okay, in the world it's okay, but in China there's uh, still a far distance to go. I, so I hope that I I could uh, play such a role to promote chess. Um, so it just has two sides, but 
But you know, sometimes if there are really too much things at one point, more or less you're, you're be a bit tired for that. Mm -hmm. And how well known are you? Are you well known in China? Do people recognize you in the street, for instance? It depends. For example, if some people are really interested on sports, not, not only chess, okay, for chess, they know me for sure, but if they're interested in sports, um, sometimes they can recognize me. And also, I'm kind of well known in my hometown because as you might know, my hometown is the first uh, chess, uh, chess village in, among China. Mm -hmm. So it's really a popular sport in my hometown, I mean chess. Mm, but generally speaking, chess is not as popular as some other Olympic Games. Okay, for some traditional Olympic Games in China, like uh, badminton or basketball, football, or some like Maybe gymnastics swimming. too. Yeah, yeah. gymnastics and, and even tennis is much more popular. Yeah, but, but you had big success in uh, tennis uh, with Nan Lee, I guess, yeah? In yeah, the yeah, Australian sure. Open. Okay, she retired, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. She was quite good. Yeah, after she re re uh, reached such a high level, suddenly tennis has become one of the most popular sports in China. And is it also that people in the street are playing tennis now instead of table tennis? Or is uh, it still table tennis? Uh, it's hard to say because table tennis is a tradition for China. It lasted for so many years, but now there are more and more um, it can be said like new sports appeared in sports field. Not only tennis, it may be as an example, but there are a lot of, I guess, chess is also included after China is open to the world. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you predict? I mean, uh, uh, China won the Olympiad with the men for the first time last year. Yeah, it was... Uh, Will there be like a dominance in chess uh, yeah, for it's China? it's a great... I think it's a great performance because it breaks the history and um, and they're really doing a good job in the Olympia. They're they're always uh, prepared. They're always uh, they're always uh, together to just like playing one team in one spirit, just fighting for a good resort. So I admire their fighting spirit. Their Mm, how to say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, in chess, that's more important. But of course, the resource is brilliant. Okay. Thank you. That was my part. Any questions from you guys? Yeah? Uh, after this tournament, you will travel straight to Gibraltar. Yes. So does your countryman Yi. Uh, I'm a bit wondering where do you take the energy from? Because I'm just reporting on the tournament and I'm starting to get tired already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's a Mm, it must be a bit after such a tough tournament to play with all the tough guys, but and there are still ten more rounds with another. Uh, it may face tough guys as well, but uh, I was just uh, trying to um, fit myself to a better shape. Uh, to looking forward to starting for a new tournament because, as you may know, my results here until now is is not that good. So I hope that I could be recovering a good shape for another new tournament. And I'm looking forward to that as well. Okay, but firstly, I should play. I, I, I want to try my best performance in the last two games here. Still, the, the tournament is going on, you know. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.